put together a lot of really, really fun learning activities, and I'm gonna teach the girls how to teach them to Colin. And we're gonna see if he's a good student or not. What color is it now? It is green. No. Maya is trying so hard to get Colin to learn his colors, but I don't know how it's gonna go. couple weeks into spending a lot of time at home thanks to the coronavirus which has kind of put the whole world on shutdown mode right now and thankfully the kiddos got a fun package in the mail from their grandparents full of Easter goodies let me see your shirts girls what'd you get or what do they show oh are those unicorns or horses and my what about you you got a bunny on yours and where's Collins? Oh, a baseball shirt. What's crazy is this package has been sitting in our garage for a few days now, and I knew it was probably full of Easter goodies, but because we're trying to be extra safe and extra careful and don't want to bring any germs in the house, we kept the package in the basement for a few days, just in case there was any germs or sicknesses on it that needed to die over time. And even when we opened it up, I lysed it all real quickly, and then put it out for the kids to open. So there was a lot of work and preparation going into just opening a fun box from grandma and grandpa. What was your favorite thing inside the box? M&M's, this or Oreos. M&M's, what kind of M&M's are those? Oh, just milk chocolate M&M's. And Addie, what about you? Easter ones. Um, M&M's, the dove. Ooh, bunnies. bunnies. Or the Oreos. There's some more M&M's. Yummy. That's are these peanut, peanut butter? Peanut butter. Ooh, I think grandma probably sent this for me because they know how much I love peanut butter M&M's. M&M's. Now, today's vlog that we're doing right now actually has a very specific purpose. It's not about opening this goodie box behind us, although that was a fun start to the video. Instead, the girls are going to have a very important task to do. Now, you girls have been doing a lot of learning. You've been doing homeschooling at home, tons of tons of hours of learning, right? Mm -hmm. But, even though we've been doing a ton of learning with the girls, Colin is usually in preschool and his preschool was canceled. Oh yeah. Colin, do you miss your teacher from school? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's being a little bit dramatic there. But anyways, since he is not in preschool, we need to make sure that he is still learning here at home. So, Addie and Maya, you girls are gonna be teachers today. Yes. Yeah. I put together a lot of really, really fun learning activities that some I found on Pinterest, some I just kinda came up with on my own, and I'm gonna teach the girls how to teach them to Colin. And we're gonna see if he's a good student or not. How do you think he's gonna do? Are you gonna have a thumbs up day? Yeah. Or a thumbs down day? Thumbs up day. Thumbs up day, whoa. We're in Colin's room now and I'm gonna teach the girls our first activity that they're going to be doing with him. And for this activity, I ordered all these colored masking tapes, a bunch of pom-pom balls, and some contact paper all from Amazon. And with all that material, I created this crazy thing on the wall where I have all these boxes with colored tape around them. And what do you notice about what's inside the boxes? Um, it's like sticky like paper. I think I know what we're gonna do. What do you think? So there's tons of ice creams in that bowl. We're gonna get a color, we're gonna put it on. All right, that was a good guess, but I have a bag here filled with all these colored pom-poms. And Colin's gonna take turns drawing them out. And putting them on the wall. Oh, we right can ask him first, what color is it? And then if he says the color right, you'll tell him congratulations or good job, buddy. And you're gonna have him go stick it on the wall with the I'm color right. that matches it. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Something kind of fun and something kind of different too. So let's see how he does. So not only will we see how well Colin does with the colors, but we'll see how well of a job Addie and Maya do teaching him. So you pay attention. Let me know if you think they're good teachers or not. All right, here's the bag. No peeking. One color. Only one. What did you get? Open your eyes. What color did you get? Red. No. No. Orange. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, can you go stick that on the orange box? Yeah. Really, really creative.
creative with the ways that I teach Colin and review things with him because let me tell you, he is so different from how the girls were at his age. I remember I had all these like little learning activities I bought from the store and the girls and I would sit down and we'd sort colors and we'd sit so calmly and it'd be fun and we could sit there for you know 20 minutes sorting colors very peacefully. And Colin just another story. He is all boy. And I tried to do that with him a few times and instead of sorting colors, things were just thrown around the room. We were karate chopping things. We were throwing things. We were jumping on things. And he's a very different kid for sure. So I'm trying to get creative here and find some ways that let him move around more and be more action packed. I may have bought pom poms that were a little bit too big because they're not sticking extremely well. You have to press really hard to get them to stick. So if I do this again, I get the smaller pom pom balls. What color is it? Red! Red! Oh, that one's up high, isn't it? Oh, does that match? No, that's purple. This is pink. What color is this? Pink. No, this is purple. purple. Where's the pink box? There it is. I'm wrong, Polly. These no. contact paper on the wall learning activities seem to be really popular ah. right now. I saw so many fun ideas on Pinterest. They had some where you put different shapes on the wall and you short your shape with you know stars with some and rectangles or squares or triangles. There were different ones with letter recognition and number recognition and it could just go on and on forever. So there were so many fun ideas. That's so many colors and they're all falling. <laughs> Addy had a good thought. Maybe since the pom pom balls are a little bit too heavy, what should we have done with them? We should have put all the squares on the floor. On the floor, or even on his table. That way they wouldn't fall off and it'd be easier to sort. Because I think it'd still be fun with the stickiness. Yeah. We wouldn't have to worry about them falling down. The like cars are all falling down. <laughs> well, this activity, we had really good intentions and really good thoughts for it. Maybe it'll turn out the best. I didn't spend too much time putting those up on the wall, so I don't feel like I wasted a ton of time, but this activity, I think, is about over. We are not gonna give up on learning our colors. We are just gonna change our tactic a little bit, and we're gonna try something new now. Okay, Colin, let's make sure we know these colors, and then we're gonna do our color sort. Yeah. Colin, what's this color in this bowl? What color is that? What color is that? Well, this is going well already. Oh, are we losing our student? Hey, pupil, back this way. Back this, this way. What Find all the red balls. Oh, there's a red. Good job. Where do the reds are go? Are those all of them? Okay, now let's put them in the red bowl. Where do the reds go? Good job, right. buddy. Can we keep High them? five. Yeah. High five. High five, Mama. Don't leave me hanging. Big one. Yeah. into chaos as well. Colin, let's go sort our colors. Oh, Colin's sleepy all of a sudden. So I put all of them in the right bowls. So he's like, okay, that bowl looks like that's red. So I'll put all the red and that stuff. I like that you got him started, Maya. Maya is trying so hard to get Colin to learn her co his colors, but I don't know how it's gonna go. Come on, Colin. Do the rest, because I started for you. I just want to have nothing to do with this. Ah! This one's blue. Oh, you oh, yeah. found it! That's blue! Good job. How many blues are there? <laughs> oh, there's one we count. We count one, two, three, four. Why don't we pick a color and we'll find them and throw them? Throw the green one. <laughs> green, good job! If I throw all the orange ones. Where's the orange? Oh, throw them! Wow! Oh, 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 oh. Well, we finally accomplished something with our color recognition, but in order to make the activity work, we had to think column style and we had to throw the color that we need. And we decided we're gonna throw the colors. He was all on board. Well, I have some other learning activities planned for Colin, but I think he needs a little bit of a break. So how about this? You girls take him down to the trampoline to get his wiggles out and I'll get the next deck to be ready. And we'll see if he does better with the next one. Do you think he'll do better? Oh, we're gonna have Hopefully. a little bit. Hopefully have so.
while Maya and Colin are jumping on a trampoline, Addie's helping me set up our next activity. Yes. We're gonna work on number recognition with Colin, which means being able to recognize his numbers one through 10. I have set out here a ton of post-it notes, some in orange, some in green, and they each have the numbers one through 10 written on them. Addie, we're gonna take the green ones and we're gonna hide them, kind of not hide them, but put them all around his room so that mm -hmm. he has to find them. And when he comes back in, we're gonna show him one number, ask him what it says, and then see if he can find a match somewhere in his room. So we'll see how he does with number recognition. It's something he's kind of been struggling with. We've been trying to work with him. Um, he's pretty good at numbers one through five, but six through 10, it's kind of hit or miss. So fingers crossed this goes well. Time to get Colin. Come on. Oh. They're right there. Wait, Colin, you see all these numbers around your room? Huh? There's numbers all around your room. Can I tell you what to do with yeah, them? Yeah, come listen to Addie and she'll explain okay, it to can you. Can you come over to We're your gonna table? play a game. Can you see all these numbers? Yes or no? Well, I'm just gonna take that as yes. So, all these numbers, you're gonna take, like, let's say the number one. Then we're gonna go around the room trying to find the number one. And once you find it, you got to stick this one on top of the green one, okay? Let's count on one, one two, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, no, I'm a clock. nine, ten. ten. See if you can count on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> this is how learning with a three-year-old boy works. <laughs> Come on, this. I can tell this isn't gonna go well. I have a special number here. Do you know what number that is? Ah! Oh no, this is a special number. This is how old you are. Open oh, up. What number ah! is it? Look, what is that? This isn't working. Oh boy. When does preschool start again? <laughs> when does preschool start again? Ah! <laughs> and I got feet in my face now. So what number is this in my hand? This is a special number because it's how old you are. Can you find the other three in the room? You told you take this. And go look for the other three. It's on your go see if you can find it. <gasps> he found it! Let's see the match! Oh, oh, where's the match? Oh, put the match up on your door. Oh, where's it going? He a sticky note um, in front of his door, so he wants to put them all in front of Oh, okay, you can put the sticky note there. So there's your two threes. Oh, flip it over. Can you find another match now? Oh, that's number 10. Let's oh, where's number 10? 10. Let's look in your house. Maybe if we look on this, we may find yeah. it that goes every room on this. Come help us. Mm. Yay. What? How did you find that? I just think he's looking at the numbers and seeing the same numbers, not knowing what number it is. So. You're probably right, Addie. Maya, what number is he looking for right now? Number five. Number five. Where is number five? Is it anywhere on any of the chairs? Is it behind these chairs? Here, maybe it's on the chair. Did you find two number fives? Can you say five, Colin? Five! Can you find? Hey, Colin. No, no. Ah. Can you? Oh, goodness gracious. Well, this is just going splendidly. <laughs> While this activity isn't going quite as we expected or hoped mm, for either. Where you put all your I don't know what I expect though, to be truthful. Yeah. You know? Yes. Maybe this is kind of what I expected. Can you see number eight from up here, Colin? Look all around your room. Can you see number eight? Where is it? If you find it, let me know. Where is it? If you see it, where is it? <sighs> Woohoo! You found eight! Something now Maya and Colin are looking right from the now. lookout tower to find the numbers, so whatever works. A little Paw Patrol mixed in lookout tower. Well, I was going to do an activity on shapes next and learning our triangles, Colin, and our circles. 
and our squares. But clearly he doesn't want to do that. So I think it's playtime at school now. I think learning time is over and it's just all play. Well, none of that went as planned today, and you know what? I'm okay with it. All kids are so different. They learn at different paces. They learn with different styles, and what we had planned today wasn't the best for Colin, and that's okay. We're gonna let him play, get some energy out, because I know through play is one of the best ways that three-year-olds learn. So, Colin, time to play, buddy. So time to go now. <laughs>